Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you all how to set up a 144Hz or 240Hz refresh rate monitor. Now, since it's Black Friday, I thought it'd be the perfect time to do this tutorial, as I'd imagine that there'll be many of you out there that have taken advantage of today's global discount day to buy yourselves a brand new high refresh rate monitor. If you have, good move. Honestly, monitor upgrades are something I always recommend for people to do, and I'll explain why I recommend them in just a little bit. But if you guys still haven't made the upgrade yet, don't feel like you've missed out, there is still Cyber Monday that's coming up in the next few days and that starts on Monday the 2nd of December. Now let's say that you guys have already gotten or plan on getting your new monitor, you'll want to make sure that it's set up correctly so that you know that you're definitely playing on the highest refresh rate that that monitor supports. To find this out guys, it's super simple. You firstly want to make sure that it's connected via the correct cables. A very common issue that people have with these high refresh rate monitors is sometimes they don't use the right cables, as certain cables only support certain refresh rates. Usually though, whichever cable comes with your monitor, like in the box, it will support that refresh rate usually. But if it doesn't, which some monitors still don't to this day, I'm not sure why, I'll quickly list some cables that support each refresh rate. So for the 144Hz 1080p support, we've got the dual link DVI-D cable, the DisplayPort 1.2 cable, and the HDMI 2.0 cable. All of these three and the higher versions of each cable do support the 144Hz and 240Hz refresh rates, so if you guys are using either of these cables, you should be good to go. I will also quickly say that there is lower versions of each of these cables that are cheaper, which you could go for, but as standard, these cables, what I've shown you guys right now, should do you just fine. Next up, after you guys have got your cables all sorted and connected properly, you'll then want to go onto your desktop and configure the refresh rate. To do this, there's two ways. One way of doing it is via Windows, and the other way of doing it is via the NVIDIA control panel. For Windows, you want to go onto the desktop, right click and select the display settings, scroll down, click advanced, and in here you want to select the display adapter, and in there, under the monitor tab, you'll then be able to change your refresh rate. Simply select the highest one out of all of the options, and boom, you're good to go. If you guys are on Nvidia like me, just head back over to your desktop, right click and open the Nvidia control panel. In here you want to select the change resolution under the display tab and in the change resolution setting you want to make sure that 1920 by 1080 is selected and then you'll be able to change your refresh rate. For me I'm currently using a 144Hz monitor so I'll select 144Hz. Though if you guys do have a higher one like 244Hz that is an option you'll definitely want to select that one. If these different Hertz options aren't appearing for you guys don't worry there is a fix for this. To fix it just head back into the NVIDIA control panel and select the configure surround under the 3D settings tab. In here you want to check the little picture of your graphics card and make sure that your high refresh rate monitor is connected to the first port on your graphics card. If it's in number 2 or 3 you definitely want to put it into number 1 and that should fix the issue. Also one more other thing to mention guys is that there's this myth going on right now where some people are saying that if your second or third monitors are 60 hertz and your main gaming monitor is a higher hertz, for example a 144 or 240 hertz, these second and third monitors will overwrite that refresh rate of the main gaming monitor and will set it to 60 hertz. That guys is completely not true at all. Each monitor does have their individual refresh rate, which you guys can all change. So don't believe that myth guys, it is a complete lie. But I thought I'd still mention it just in case there is anyone out there that did believe it. But yeah guys, that's how you set up a 144 or 240Hz monitor. It's super easy as you guys just seen. If you do encounter any issues when setting up your monitor, pop them in the comments below guys and I will try and help you out the best I can. I also mentioned as well guys a bit earlier on in the video that I would explain why I recommend a high refresh rate monitor. Which which I will right now. Pretty much the short and simple of it guys is these monitors really do improve your overall gaming experience. What I mean by that guys is it just feels so much more smoother and so much more responsive and there is a good reason for that. These monitors have over twice the amount of frames that are displayed each second on them than a 60Hz monitor does so that should help you guys visualize how much smoother that would be. As well guys if you are a competitive player like I'm sure most of you are that are watching this channel you guys definitely need to get your hands on a high refresh rate monitor the difference from 60 to 144 is literally night and day, like it's insane. After hearing all that guys, I bet there's some of you out there that are literally wanting to get your hands on one right now, and you're most likely probably thinking, which one do I get? 
Well, for that, guys, I can't really make any specific recommendations as I've only used the one monitor. I don't think I can really recommend a monitor that I haven't used before. But what I will do is I'll recommend some monitors based off what popular Fortnite Pro players use, as I do know what quite a lot of them are using. I'll start off with listing the 240Hz monitors that the pros are using, then I'll move down to the 144Hz monitors. For the 240Hz monitors, there's the Alienware AW2518H, and this is used by Bugger, Ninja and Clicks. Next is the Asus PG258Q. This is used by Tifu, Benji Fishy, and Martos. And finally, we've got the BenQ Zowie XL2546, and this is used by Metro, Kunner, and Hamlins. Moving on, we've got the 144Hz monitors. There's the Asus VG288QE, and this is used by Dubs, Thiefs, and Commandment. And there's also the BenQ Zowie XL2411P as well, and that's used by Mega and and, and those guys are the most popular 144 and 240Hz monitors that I could find that the pros are using. That's not to say that you guys just have to buy one of those monitors, there is plenty more on the market which are maybe better or cheaper. Those are just the ones that I'd recommend from seeing what the pros use and the reviews as the reviews on all of these monitors are pretty outstanding. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did learn something new. If you did, then be sure to drop a like on the video guys, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and use code LIFE in the Fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins. By doing any of those three guys, you will be helping me out so much, and it's honestly really appreciated. But yeah, that's all from me today though guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.